Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. No matter what religion, race, nationality, or background we have, there is one thing we can all agree on. Life is no walk in the park. It's replete with struggles, adversities, complications, heartbreak, and suffering. That's the hard truth. And even though there are some good days, silver linings, and lights at the end of tunnels, it is only through these hardships, hard responsibilities, and battles that we can grow and flourish. It's only through internal and external battles that we can know who we are and reach our full potential. However, one of the most important, if not the single most significant and crucial factor in all matters is for us to determine where we stand in relation to the truth in our journey through life. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the message Imam al Hussein alayhi salam tried to impart onto the world through the battle of Karbala. Get it? Quick recap Imam al Hussein was the grandson of the last messenger of God, Prophet Muhammad. He was born and raised in Medina by his loving mother, Lady Fatima, whom he tragically lost at a very young age. Perhaps the first of the countless sufferings in his life, and his loving father, Imam Ali. After the martyrdom of his older brother, Imam al Hassan, by the hands of the Banu Umayyah Caliph Ma'awiyah, via proxy, more of that later, Imam al Hussein was then pressured by the son and successor of Ma'awiyah, Yazid, stay with me now, into pledging his allegiance to the drunkard openly blasphemous and ironically named leader of the Islamic nation. And it was at this point that Imam al Hussein put his foot down and said, enough is enough. Hence his famous statement, مثلي لا يبايع مثله. Someone such as me will never pledge allegiance to someone such as Yazid. That and the over a hundred thousand letters the Imam received from the Fera people of Kufa begging him to come and rid them of the tyrannical and corrupt Umayyad regime and of course the will of Allah prompted the Imam to embark on a journey with his family and companions from Medina to Mecca where he was literally hunted by the enemies and had to leave mid-hajj all the way to Iraq where he was stopped by the opposing army in Karbala on his way to Kufa and the rest is history. Like literally some serious stuff. Now you might be thinking to yourself, okay, thank you for the history lesson. What was the point of all of this? The point is why did the Imam make this journey, which was by the way, only the tip of the iceberg of events, tragedies and battles he and his loved ones had to face. The answer is in a part of yet another famous statement made by Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. Verily, I have set off in order to bring reform to the nation of my grandfather. I wish to enjoin the good and forbid the bad. See, the Imam didn't say, I am setting off because, well, they threatened to kill me, or to avenge my brother and father, or because I'll be rich once I gain power over Iraq, or I want to be nice, so I have to kind of accept the thousands and thousands of invitations I received from the people of Kufa. All of these reasons might seem legit to the material obsessed mind, but they all lose value and significance in comparison to the pivotal reason behind the Imam's movement. And the reason and objective of his movement was nothing but the truth. Something Imam al Hussein was willing to sacrifice his life and loved ones for. Something he was willing to fight for till his final breath. The truth, goodness, justice, growth, and reformation, sacrifice, standing against falsehood, evil, and lies. These are the sacred and timeless objectives and principles of the Battle of Karbala. Not only that, but they are the fundamental values which gave it necessity. So, as we were saying, life is no walk in the park. 
It's full of adversities and battles. Question is, how close do we try to get to the truth in the battles of life, regardless of whether we chose to face them or not? How much do we try to align ourselves with goodness and justice when placed in challenging situations that infringe our comfort and convenience? Because at the end of the day, and as Imam al Hussein has taught us, through his sacrifice and act of reformation, the truth is all there is. And in every detail and interaction of our life, do we want to be on the side of the truth or against it? Even if it conflicts with our interests and ego, even at the risk of losing everything we have or parts of who we are. To further explore the different dimensions of the movement of Imam al Hussein and to better understand our relationship with what his eminence stood for, join us on this series of Muharram videos and maybe like and subscribe. Peace and blessings be with you.